Praise the Lord and glory be to the Lord this morning. We are celebrating the goodness of the Lord this week and um, we are in a state of thanksgiving, just giving thanks to the Lord for what he has done, giving thanks to the Lord for where he has taken you from and where he's taking you. You know, um, as the, the children of Israel went through exile, time came when they celebrated the goodness of the Lord because they are out of captivity, but also they are foreseeing the coming of the Messiah. And one of those celebrating scriptures that we know is Isaiah 61 verses 1. And I'm going to be reading from verse 1 through up to verse 3. It says... The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring the good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn. To grant to those who mourn in Zion to give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes. The oil of gladness instead of mourning. The garment of of praise instead of a faint spirit that they may be called oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he may be glorified this is just the word that i want to share with us dear friends there are some of us that have never celebrated the goodness of the lord even for what he has done in our lives and today we are celebrating that the lord can replace that which is a garment of of, of sorrow he can replace it with a garment of praise and that is what we want to look into our lives today friends look around yourself and look around yourself you might be going through a, th a sorrowful situation but I want to assure you that today you want to place down that garment of sorrow and tell God you know God today I am tired you know verse 3 says to grant those who mourn in Zion to give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes you know in the past when you lost someone you were smeared with ashes and so sorrow was all over your place, all over your body. You, everyone who sees you with a mark of ashes will know. You know, we, we, we normally do the imposition of ashes during the Lent season, indicating that we are going to be sorrowful for our sins all that time. But this is not being sorrowful for your sin, but sorrowful because of the situation that you are going through. Sorrowful because you've lost your beloved one. Sorrowful because you've lost your business, you've lost your job, you've lost your comfort you've lost your family, you've lost it all, and you feel like, my God, I have lost it all. I want to compare people who have factories, and all of a sudden, this factory is set on fire, and you're wondering, God, what am I going to do? My factory is set on fire. What is my way forward? You know, these are things that bring sorrow and pain. In the lockdown, there are those who are selling bananas, not for, for, for menvu, but for food, and so they got to realize that a whole truck of bananas is ripening and I know that some people committed suicide because of that people had stores of maize and all of them got rotted you know there is that moment when you feel so sorrowful but you know the Lord is telling you that he's going to give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes a beautiful headdress. Why? The Lord wants to take away your disgrace, your sorrow. The Lord wants to take away your reproach and your pain. And the Lord is going to give you something new, a new headdress that you are not going to be in ashes. The oil of gladness instead of mourning. Yes, you have mourned over the past glory. You have mourned over your life. But the Lord wants to plant a new thing in your life. And therefore, you have to rejoice in the Lord and celebrate the new thing that the Lord is doing. The garment of praise instead of a faint spirit the garment of praise some some versions say a spirit of heaviness you are not going to have that spirit of heaviness but friends when you're praising the lord you are saying god i want this spirit of heaviness to go put on the garment so praise for the spirit of heaviness lift up your voice to God you know you are lifting up your voice to God that the Lord is going to give you a spirit of praise the Lord is taking away the heaviness from your heart and therefore you are celebrating the goodness of the Lord he's saying that they may be oaks of righteousness if you have ever seen an oak tree friends you want to be an oak of righteousness I have seen oak trees when you go to, to place some places in the United States you see oak trees if you 
you can even google the oak tree in in in, in charleston you'll be surprised this is a tree that has branches and roots and everything it's a tourist attraction friends so when you are an oak of righteousness that means you are actually a strong person in the lord and therefore it is worth praising the lord because you are an oak of righteousness the planting of the lord that he may be glorified Friends, you need to glorify the Lord because the Lord has overturned and changed your story. And it is going to take you to present yourself before the Lord if the Lord is going to change your story. The story is not going to be changed in self-pity. The story is going to be changed if you take a step of faith to worship and praise the Lord instead of staying in that garment of sadness, in that sorrowful state. You need to rise up and begin giving thanks to the Lord and just say, Lord, thank you for what you are doing. You know, friends, I have shared this, that when I lost my father, sorrow gripped me, and I felt like it is all gone. I have nothing more to live on. But until I realized that, you know what, I need to celebrate him, and I started celebrating him, now I celebrate him because of who he was. Friends, may God give you this grace, that no matter the pain you went through, will you celebrate Will you allow the Lord to redress you, to remove the other garment so that he can give you a new garment and you'll never regret it? The oil of gladness instead of mourning. That if you have been pale in your face, you're going to wake up like David and say, you know what? This child has gone. I'll go where this child is and this child will never come back to me. And therefore, I have to rise up, apply, shower, do oil in my face and work and walk and move on. And that I will have to celebrate in the presence of the Lord because the Lord knows where that person is. But you do not know. Let's pray. Father, thank you. Ah, Lord, I pray that you give us that heart of thankfulness and gratitude, Lord, that we'll be able to seek your face and hear you even as you speak to us. Be glorified in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and glory be to the Lord.